Hello, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. You're welcome to our channel of Skills Learning Network to get excellence knowledge. If you are the student, you are welcome. If you are the parent, you are welcome to give this lesson to your student. This is a very important lesson to our our student. Okay. So for today we have a topic of nutrition and food this this is a topic for practicals so i beg you to listen to take a note if we, there is an important note to understand more our lesson nutrition and the full test performed in practicals are the science students they know we have a practical 2a to b to c in our form four practicals form four examinations so Today I'm going to tell you the new updates, the new format to our lesson or to our topic of nutrition for practical. So, yes, you are welcome. For the test, deal with identification, determination of food substance present in different samples. We have different food samples. We have liver, milk, groundnuts, we have a mango, we have different. So, we have uh, different samples. So I think you can you can see where according to our life how different some. So for example, assume you have a fish, you have a leaf, you have milk. What you earn in the body when you eat fish, liver, milk, granules, egg, what you get in your body. So in order to identify what you get or what you earn to your body. In order to know what you earn in the body, there should be the full test applied. There should be application of the full test. So that's why we study nutrition and the full test. Before looking at the full test report, procedure, reagents, let's we are in introduction. What are the types of food we are going to study or how to test it? The first is that is carbohydrate. Carbohydrate is categorized in three forms. The first form is monosaccharides, monosaccharides, monosaccharides. This is reducing sugar or is called the simple sugar. Number B is disaccharides or is called the non-reducing sugar or complex sugar. And number three types of carbohydrates is called the or category is polysaccharides. This contains starch. And then we have number two is called the protein. Number three is called the lipid. Lipid contain fats and the oil. We can get fat from, from other foods which are not oil. They say milk or groundnuts. Those are contain that is comprised the lipid. Or it's contain lipids, fats and oil. Fat is the animal fat, animal lipid. And the oil is the plenty lipid. That is lipid. And uh, so we can join those foods from carbohydrates that we have. It means the test, the types of food to be tested in your biology practical. We have starch, we have reducing sugar, we have non reducing sugar, we have protein, and we have lipid. Those are the food we have to test it. And the student, if you have made the question to test or food test practical, they are required to test those food. Number one, starch, reducing sugar, non reducing sugar, protein, and the lipid. That is our types of food to be tested. Apart from lipid, water, and other, we are only these starch, reducing sugar, non reducing sugar, protein, and the lipid. And then, in order to test those foods, starch, reducing sugar, non reducing sugar, protein, and the lipid, we have chemical reagents. We call it chemical reagents to test. It. You know, chemical reagents, even if you are going to the hospital, you test it for malaria. Malaria, there is a reagent. You test it, you test it for typhoid. There is a reagent to identify the organism which causes those symptoms and sign of malaria so even if even here in food test to know the presence of starch we have to use reagents 
we cannot identify without the, the agent. So in order to take the starch, we have to sum, we have uh, two things, a sample or food different sample, and uh, our reagent is there is the iodine solution. Then observation, we have to know blue-black color. If there is blue-black color, we know this is food, there is the starch. Number two, test for reducing sugar, you have a sample and you have to use Benedict solution. This is this is a reagent, Benedict solution. The observation to be presence of reducing sugar, we have to see, we have to observe color change from blue to green, yellow, orange to bleak red. That is observation. Then you're using sugar, you have to have a sample, hydrochloric acid, sodium hydroxide solution, Benedict solution. The same observation is color change from blue to green, yellow, orange to bleak red. That is the series of that color we have to observe in a positive observation. For the presence of protein, you have to, to, to use sodium hydroxide and 1% of copper to solution. That is the agents. And there are positive observations you have to, to see the purple color. And number three, number another food we have lipid we have to use sodium 3 and uh, in order to, to know the lipid you have to to see the layer or lead ring formed at the surface of the solution remember that the, the lipid there is there is a layer of lipid so we have to, to observe that a layer of lipid is the top or is the, at the top of the at the surface of the solution that is chemical reagents. There is a function why use it on testing so on testing the using sugar. Why we add why HCL and the sodium hydroxide used. The answer when you use HCL or hydrochloric acid is used to change the complex sugar or non reducing sugar to simple sugar. That is the answer. And the function of sodium hydroxide is to neutralize the acid to help Benedict solution to intensify the green, orange, yellow to bleak red as a color with the mind reducing sugar and the non reducing sugar. That is a function of sodium hydroxide on testing, so on testing non reducing sugar. There is the action of warming. Why we warm is important? Why warming is important to testing reducing sugar and non reducing sugar? The answer is warming or the war is important to enable the reduction of copper 2 ions present in Benedict solution to copper 2 ion in order to get the color change from blue, green, yellow to orange to big red. And this question was appeared in, if I'm not forgetting, is appear on examination of form 4. So you can check the papers in order to see this question that is the answer for that question another technique c on testing food testing or testing the food the best possible principles of writing the test report report should be presented in tabular form that is the principle we are going to see the table of us or the food test report that is one another principle report must be written in reported speech they say Two drops were added, two minutes was poured. That is our principles of writing. And then, number C, the solution and the reagent must be quantified. Don't use a word literal or a sum, some amount, some minutes, just be quantified. Let's say two minutes, two drops, two seconds, or two minutes. You can have a good report. Now, the commanding language, commanding language like add port should be should be avo avoided. Should be avoided. That is a principle of writing practical for the test report. And then, then observation will be stated in form of color change. Example: blue black color observed, purple color observed. Those are principles in order to make sure your report is very good, is very systematic, 
in order to get the wall marks. There is also awareness during the food test practical work when you are going to test a specific volume of solution you used, the specific number of drops, volume, chemicals, reagents. Make sure you use drops, three drops, two meals. Number C, correct the procedure. Example, shaking, boiling, cooling, settling for some minutes. Let's say specify the time, five minutes. Make sure you, you are specific. And then correct the identification of color. Yes, you have to write a language which is very known, which is common. I'm going to show you there in order to understand more. Be sure the proper procedure where two reagents are used. Remembering which reagent chemical should be used first. Let's say on testing the nanny using sugar, we have what well, the acid, we have sodium hydroxide. So make sure you know which reagent is going to be the first to use. That is very important. Even protein, we have sodium and copper to sulfate. So make sure you use, you know, which the reagent is going to be the first on adding to the sample. So apart from that, I think we use a few minutes to rest. Then after, after resting, we're going to see a full test practical report. Okay, let's we proceed with the full test practical report. How is written? How is it looks like? How is written? Full test practical report for starch. The way as have been written is the way the students should record. You can take your paper or you can take your exercise book. You can write it one sentence by one sentence. The, and then you have to write it in a table. This practical report have been shown, have been written by including for the presence and the absence of the full sample in a certain solution. And then we have suggested the name of the solution. Let's say as our name we have used the solution F. Just see as written you have to write as a look. As you look is that what you have to write. So starch two means of food sample solution F. You have to write the name was poured into test two. Three drops of iodine solution were added and gently shaken. In the previous report, this shaken was not included so was excluded so now to this year have been included so make sure you make it update observation the mixture turned into blue black color the mixture turned into blue black you have to write this one for the presence starch present in sample f we haven't was we haven't is you have to write the starch present or starch absent. The mixture in the presence, the mixture retained. It means when the, the starch is absent, the color of iodine will be observed, no other changes. So you have to write the mixture retained the brown color of iodine solution. That is first test for starch. Test for reducing sugar. You can use your time to record, to, to write on your exercise book. This is the offer to you. Two meals of food sample solution. And this is two meals, not two meals. Remember, two meals, not two meals. Solution F was poured into the soup, and two meal of Benedict solution was added, then mix about the while shaking. That you have to write. Because the, the amount of sample should be the same with the amount of Benedict solution or the reagent when testing the juicy sugar. The observation there is a color change you see blue, green, yellow, orange to brick red. The juicy sugar present the solution F. For the absence, you will, you will record as you see, retain the blue 
kind of Benedict solution that is tasty for reducing sugar. Let's go to non reducing sugar. Non reducing sugar is looks like is a very long procedure. Two mil sample solution F was poured into the soup. One mil of diluted acid was added in the mixer, was boiled, then cooled. Two mil of sodium hydroxide was added, followed by two mil of Benedict solution. That is, you have to write in that way. Remember, there is a note here don't use hydrochloric acid chemical compound, let's say HCl, don't use that. Sodium hydroxide, don't use any OH, that is chemical compound, don't use, just use sodium hydroxide. And uh, as you see, that is, you have to record, just record it. You can stop this video and then you record. Testy for protein, testy for protein, test for protein, also have for some solution. Two ml of sodium dioxide was added and mixed roughly. Make sure you, you mix it. And then two drops of 1% of copper to sulfate. Even here, don't use copper as a compound name. Just use a word, describe the word copper to sulfate. When you use compound, you will be wrong on. That is the principle of writing this, this report. And you can record it as you see. That is the way you have to record it for the test report. This is the update. And the test for lipid, that is the end test for lipid, is two mil of full sample solution was poured into a test tube. Three drops of Sudan 3 solution were added, then shaken vigorously and left for five minutes to set. You see, there is a specified time, specified time of intestine lipid to leave it to set on writing student 3 on writing to copper 2 sulfate you have to, to write a capital letter this is 3 when you use a c a small letter you will be wrong just use a capital letter student 3 solution and the copper 2 just use a largest or capital letter I think now that is a report you can write, you can stop this video, then you write on your book. I think that is my lesson for today. Thank you for using your time to, to watch this video. I think you have understand and then there is different. This is in my book so you can if you need you can communicate with me then to understand more different topics within our practicals you see is written by 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 what by whom by by the the name is you can see is this is my name so so you are welcome for another lesson today we end up here Thank you for watching, subscribe our channel, like, share this lesson to your fellow, to your student, to your, to your, to your, to your friend, and then in order to share your ideas, this video to reach more other people. Thank you for watching, I think another day, another time, thank you, thank you more.